<laughs> Hello and welcome back. You are gaming with me, Brathgar, and this is my Kerbal Space Program. Now today, this is based on a recommendation, and this recommendation comes from Kaboom! He says, how about some sort of corkscrewing cylinder type rocket, or a rocket type that may remind me a bit of loadout. Well, this is also got me thinking. If you have ever seen Gurren Lagann, which is an anime, uh, you will also know that he drills into space. So I'm inspired by both of these things, and I've got a rocket for you today. I'm gonna load it up here. It's not a very fancy, fancy name, but here it is. I tell you what, this thing is cool looking. Yeah, there it is. It's pretty much just a standard spacecraft. However, I put a bunch of little delta wings on here, and I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty interesting. And I'm gonna, I'm really looking forward to uh, where this is going to go as we develop it. So I'm gonna call this the drill into space. Yes, yes, yes. Let's launch this thing. All right, so here we are. There's pretty much no recovery system on this at all. It's just engines and throttle. But what we should see is that we get a bunch of spin and then it it actually stabilizes the spaceship because if it's spinning it's kind of like a bullet right it might try to stabilize a little bit however with the mass moving around that may or may not work out however we are going to leave the SAS on here just to see what in the world happens here maximum throttle here we go there we go getting a nice burn but as you can see the wings <laughs> since they are tapered in this way right here it is starting to spin and that's pretty cool actually that's a really cool look right there <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this. All right, so if I actually attempt to rotate, I might be able to make it rotate faster and or slow it. However, what you want to really look down here is at your nav ball, and it, if that ever becomes unstable, I suppose this thing could be absolutely all kinds of crazy, and I'll probably burn up my engine, though. Now, the real thing here, though, is how much is this hindering my ability to go up right now? I mean, it's cool, it's cool and all, and I think it's, you know, it's just about like a drill into space. It's pretty cool. You and log on here would be quite impressed. All right, it looks like it is rotating ever so slightly off to the side. And the other thing is I'm not gonna be able to control this thing left or right right now because my controls are all messed up. So let's just get it spinning real fast, huh? <laughs> Look at this thing take off. It is just going ridiculously fast. That's awesome. All right, so now we're passing out of the low atmosphere. So we're going to be getting some real speed here. The real question is if I actually try to go anti-spin right now is can I stop it? Jebediah is freaking out. We might as well take a look on the inside of him. He's going to be really sick once we're done with this one. <laughs> but hey, you know what? He's looking a little green. Ah, funny, funny. Yes, yes. See how I did that? See what I did there? He's green. All right, so if I try to lean this over, yeah, there's just no way for me to currently adjust. All I do is throw this thing off axis. However, if I'm rotating backwards with my system here, I am actually slowing my rotation down. So no longer is the atmosphere at this point really playing in. I'm over 50,000 into the air, and I can drive things around. However, I have no idea where center is anymore all right so we have entered the atmosphere or shall we say uh gone away from the world quite a bit Let's see what happens i will be going really far out there look at that over four million you can even see the world rotate behind us that's pretty cool eee, look at how small it is <laughs> all right let me slow down here we go all right so here's this this is cool here we are, we're re-entering the atmosphere, and we're going over 3,000 meters per second now. I'm just going to turn the stabilization off, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. And now you can see the wings, they're working in reverse. Well, look at how fast this is spinning. Whee! <laughs> oh, and it's actually centering out, just like we thought it would. Just like we thought it would. And here's the cool part. Look at how much it's slowing down based on that movement. If I re-engage the stabilization. Look at this. Look at this. 
I'm coming down, I'm over, just still over a thousand meters above the water, and I'm only looking at a hundred meters per second. So what this means to me, is that I can pretty much land the spaceship. Just like this. Ta-da! How about that? Who needs a parachute when you got corkscrew fins? This is an absolutely awesome idea, kaboom. <laughs> oh, how about that? I just made a spacecraft that, that I could pretty much just go up and land wherever you want it to. That's awesome. All right, so let's see what we can do with this newfound ability to just return and land just like that. I mean, without a parachute. How about that? All right, so first and foremost, uh, we have these wings that are currently on here. So I suppose what comes naturally is make the wings bigger, right? I am now venturing into territory I have never been before. So this will be really interesting. All right, so that's the pattern I'm going to be going with. There is three times as many wings on top and there are just, it's a bigger wing itself. I'm actually using the swept wing type A. So here we go. We're actually going to place these down. I've pretty much put it at a angle, which is two clicks over. And then I'll be placing it down. I press alt to go to the next wing. All right, so there we go. This is uh, absolutely insane. I don't even know what to think about it right now, but it's cool looking. <laughs> All right, so there we go. It's either a Christmas tree or it's a drill into space. This should be pretty interesting. I've added a little drill tip on the top or yeah, there we go. Now it's looking pretty good. I've also added some gear just in case we end up over land. I want to see if I can actually land this thing because that would be awesome. It would actually be really cool just to be able to have these things like almost automatically land themselves. I don't know if that's possible. All right. So predictions. Um, I'm thinking this one's going to be awesome. I, I'm just it's, it just seems like too good of an idea. Here we go. Oh, it's spinning much faster this time. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is completely awesome. And then if I put gear down, does it work? Yep, there goes the gear. It might be a little high up though. And there it comes back up. <laughs> Whee! I feel kind of bad for Jebediah. He's, he's going to get real sick up in there. The real question though is does it like max out at the amount of rotation it does? I don't know. Actually now it looks like it's spinning backwards on my screen. So it's definitely increasing in rotation speed to the point that it is actually in harmony with my frames per second. Kind of like when you see, if you were to like take a picture of a, a wheel spinning and they were driving at the right speed, you would actually see it where it almost stops there for a moment. So yeah, we're going faster and faster yet. Now it isn't going up straight at all, really. I mean, that's where we came from. And I have no real ability how to control it. <laughs> I'm kind of at the mercy of wherever it wants to go. And it's also taking a good amount of fuel to get up here. So I'm feeling like there's some drag, but then again, it could also just be a large amount of weight. And that's kind of a real interesting point. I'm wondering if these wings are creating drag or if I'm creating drag by spinning in this fashion. I don't necessarily know. I guess I could put the wings straight and then find out. All right, so I've cut the fuel there. I'm only gonna be going up to uh, a half million or 560 kilometers or so. That may or may not keep me over land. I mean, it's looking like it wants me to land on actual land. We'll find out. No, it's going to be missing. All right, so here we are. We're going to be entering the atmosphere even faster now. Oh, my God. 
gosh. I'm trying to push it up right now, but it's not happening. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's just spinning down. Whee! <laughs> it doesn't really want to come down straight, though. I don't really have a way of correcting that. But look at how slow it's coming down now. At, at about a third of the speed of it was last time, and it continues to drop. And right at the end here, as it gets slower and slower, it wants to pull more and more to the vertical. I mean, it's pretty much straight up and down right now. And I've had to do nothing. I just apply a little bit of fuel. And we're down. How about that? <laughs> I just think that's awesome. What happens if I turn on the engines now? Oh, oh, that didn't work. Okay, don't do that. Sorry, Jebediah. It does have a full body crumple zone. That's a good thing, right? Well, if that wasn't the coolest thing I've seen in a while, it just makes me wonder where I can go from here. Alright, I think I'm going to actually add some Elevons to this, because I don't know what that's going to do, but... I mean, they're here, so might as well try. Alright, All right, so I've decided to go with some Elevons, because you can actually adjust the angle. And that should be kind of interesting to see how that works out. All right, a million parts later, <laughs> and this is what I have. Uh, it looks cool. It looks really cool. This is going to be awesome. All right, so here we go. We are going to drill into space. Look at this thing. All right, so as we are adjusting the angle here, you can see it moving around. If we look at the top, well, it's doing some interesting things, actually. It's not adjusting all at the same time. It depends on... I don't know. It's like flexing on certain sides. I don't know what's going to happen. They aren't all rotating at the same time. <laughs> so let's just see. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Here we go. It definitely hurt in the frame rate a little bit. If I flex them... Well, I'm going to steer the ship. Uh, so i got to be careful here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It doesn't know what it's doing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, we're losing it. It's going bad. It's going bad. Get out, Jebediah. Get out. Go up. No, you're going to get body slammed. No, Jebediah. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Elevon's everywhere. <laughs> well, I can't always be awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's try this without messing with it again. Um just because that did not work out last time. Here we go. I don't want to get a close-up to see what these things are doing. Are they moving at all? You would think that they might be controlled by the SAS to try to keep things in stable flight. But it doesn't look like it wants to be happy. Nope. Nope. Not happy. Not happy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 
Oh no. We're here again. But look at how weirdly it's like changing direction once I once I throttle off it. <laughs> it made itself like impossible to control. And it doesn't move in logical ways. It's weird. It's cool. <laughs> but it's like impossible <laughs> to do what you want. Uh uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, this isn't going well. Give me that. I'm sorry. My rocket didn't work out too well. Well, let's try it one last time, but this time with absolutely giant wings, because that's what we want to see. We want to see something that can touch down without using any engines at all. Oh my gosh, I got to delete all of these. These are the times when you should have saved things. It decided to quit on me. Okay, that works too. Because clearly this is a good idea. <laughs> uh, yes, this thing is going to start off on its own legs. Let's do this. This is, uh, I can't even see it all right now. Let's just do it. Oh no. Oh, it is standing on its own. It's standing on its own. How about that? Okay, good. I figured it'd do that. Here we go. This is this is awesome. Maximum thrust. Oh, look at how fast it's starting to spin already. All these wings doing their thing. <laughs> uh, this is so cool. This is just so cool. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's cool, but it's also... It's also... Suffering from a similar problem as we've seen before. Uh-oh. 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 Abandon! Self-correct! Self-correct, wings! Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh... Give it there! You're safe! You survived! <laughs> and that's how you land. Obviously, the drill into space. Leave nothing but leave nothing behind, baby. <laughs> I don't know if it's better with or without the SAS on. This is without. Not going well. Oh no! Yep. All right, so here it is, the last attempt at this. I've added, I've gone back to the stabilized platform, and I've also reduced the last two pieces of wings and gone back to the full structure. Not still feeling all that, you know, hopeful about this one, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. Getting plenty of spin right there off the beginning. It looks like we're nice and centered. And that is key to keeping this thing alive. Uh, I believe we have passed the same height record that we had last time. If we can keep going up, we'll be good. <laughs> Whee! Oh, you can see the wing this time. That's cool. Okay, now you can see what's going on here. We're starting to get a little bit of tilt. And it's now rotating a little bit off axis now. And I only expect this to get worse, so if we were to look at it from above, it's doing this number. It's going around in a circle. However, if we get out of the low atmosphere before we catastrophically go over, you know, into a bad direction, we may go up into space. Not even sure where we're going to go. Look at how fast it's spinning now. Whee! Insane! Is it going to spin to pieces? Because that's kind of what I'm going for. Looks like the wings are barely holding on. <laughs> it's not getting any speed. Wow, look at it. They're just like freaking out. Oh, is it gonna hold? Is it gonna hold? <laughs> oh, the tension of this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Wow, nothing's ever spun this fast, has it? I suppose it has. 
Oh, it's slowing down now. You can barely tell, but it is slowing. And it looks like that's going to be all my fuel, I mean, if I ever want to land. Which, of course I do, because I don't want to kill Jebediah yet again. Poor guy's already been murdered enough. And there we go! We have now spun our way into the atmosphere yet again. That obviously did not help us out. <laughs> As our maximum height here just keeps going down. However, that is still enough to where I might be able to... I can get to orbit with this thing. But... I don't know. It's cool. Let's see what happens once we come back down. We're really not out of the atmosphere. Yeah, we're getting there. It's gonna be another splashdown landing. I would love for it to not be, but unfortunately I just don't have any control over which way I go. <laughs> Here we are, entering the atmosphere again, getting ready to spin ourselves to death. Now, since we do spin faster on re-entry, there's a fair chance this may not go very well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like I was saying, there's a fair chance it may not go well. Whoa! Whoa! Why not? Why not? Let it have it! Whoa! <laughs> What in the world? Oh, and is it correcting itself? Does it just always want to be happy? And straight up and down? Does it? Oh no. Death spin. Oh, this one isn't good. This is not good at all. Hmm. Uh-oh. I have not seen this maneuver before, except for when we're out of control over land. However, we continue to reduce our speed. I wonder what the maximum crash of this is going to be. We keep slowing down. We're down to about 50 meters per second. It's definitely going to be devastating. Sorry, Jebediah. Don't die. He did. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Kerbal Space Program. I know I had a lot of fun. And thank you so much for recommending this kaboom. And I tell you what, what reminded me most about this as compared to a loadout is the actual format that the video took place itself as compared to the spaceship because, you know, spaceships aren't really like guns unless you put guns on them. At any rate though, I would say if you want to recommend a certain idea or that something you want me to try in the game itself, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, much like you would do if you had a gun build on my loadout series. And I'll see if I can build it and give it a flight. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace. Brothgar out.